friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis again. Today we're taking a look at a creator set. This is a three-in-one poly bag, set number 30571, Pelican. Consists of 62 pieces and is recommended for ages six and up. Let's go ahead and crack it open and take a look. Alright, so here we have it, set 30571, the Pelican. Again, this set consists of 62 pieces. As you can see, we have the Pelican, a fish, and uh, just a little piece of a dock here. Let's go ahead and take a look at each piece individually. So the fish is a piece that I'm sure you've seen before. This is just a silver version of the, the fish. You can fit the, uh, the tail piece there into a minifigure's hand if you wanted to. So if uh, you want to use this somewhere else, you can kind of do that sort of thing. Uh, the hole in the mouth will also accept a bar piece. But this is actually the, the build, of course. We have just a little bit of a dock there. Almost looks like a bench. Uh, if we take off those planks from the top, see just a little bit of sand built up, and I think those are supposed to be clams. It's just a, a nice little extra. Certainly wasn't necessary, but it's kind of cool to have a, just a little bit of a side build to go along with the pelican, which of course is the main event. Um, I like those eyes. Those are printed, of course. Um, we've got some little wings here, and those are on ball joints, so they can be articulated a bit. We have some feathers back here with these kind of rock pieces. We have the same sort of thing up behind the head. Uh, the feet are kind of interesting. They're orange, so that's uh, kind of nice to get some additional orange pieces. Those aren't terribly common. But this is built up pretty well. And then the mouth is made up of one of those cabinet pieces. And then they just have the jaw that opens and closes so they can go ahead and catch their dinner like so and the fish actually fits inside if he doesn't lose his head <laughs> there we go pretty cool so I really like this poly bag my one complaint as you saw just a moment ago is it is a little bit fragile so as you notice the head and the, the uh, mouthpiece and everything they come off fairly easily just with very light touches. So it's really a better display piece than a play piece. But if you're okay with that, then you know you can work around it. This was the first of three builds. The other two builds, unfortunately, you have to go online to get those directions. They are not in the printed manual. So that's a little bit of a downer as well. But this build is pretty cool. Our secondary build is another bird. I don't like him quite as well as I like the pelican, but it's not too bad. Face is cute, he's got a little feather coming up off the top of his head. The wings are a little bit oversized, but uh, I guess that can be forgiven. It's not bad, but again, not as good as the pelican. And it is also fragile, like uh, the pelican. These feet come off very easily. Um, in fact, they came off in virtually every step of the <laughs> instruction. But if you can be a little bit careful and gingerly as you're moving it around, it's not too bad. Not my favorite, but not too bad. And here we have our tertiary build, which is a bunny, I guess. I'm not a fan, I gotta say. It, it looks weird from all angles. <laughs> I don't really care for this much at all. The eyes are cute, but they're printed. <laughs> and uh, I, I don't know, I'm just not a fan. This is kind of a throwaway, if you ask me. But, you know, it's there if you want to build it. You just gotta go to LEGO's website to download the instructions. But that's the third build. Take it or leave it. So that about wraps it up for this one. Uh, this Pelican is my favorite of the three builds. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your favorite was. Uh, again, this was a poly bag that I picked up for about $4. Uh, if you're interested, keep your eye out because uh, it is probably in your local Target or Walmart as we speak. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like. And uh, thanks for watching. Come back and see us again soon. Take care. Bye for now. If you like what you saw here, uh, take a look at one of these other videos. I've uh, included a couple of my older videos, and I'd love to hear what you think about uh, 
the production quality and stuff from way back when uh, in comparison to what we're doing today. And uh, let me know what you think of those older sets that I've got uh, videos on as well. So thanks again, and uh, we'll see you next time.